Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the creature next to you. You gotta look into their eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a creature who will go that inch with you. You're gonna see a creature who will sacrifice themselves for this deck. Because they know when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for them. That's a deck, my friends. All right, my friends, what is up? Welcome to the Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. I got a real spicy one for you today. This is a Jim Davis original, and um, I brewed this deck on a show I do on my stream called Freshly Brewed, where I just build it, I can play it. We were pleasantly surprised uh, with the results. This is a Rakdos Sacrifice deck. Now, I know you've seen some of these cards before in Historic and when they were in Standard, and you might get that, you know, I don't like that, you know, uh, of course, Mayhem Devil, uh, Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven. These are key components of Rakdos Sacrifice in Historic, which is one of the best decks in the format. And it is oppressively good against creature decks and very, very good. Well, we're not playing Historic today. We're playing Modern. And Modern gives us a lot of really cool additions to the deck and um, turns the deck from being kind of the overpowered annoyance to the underdog. And this deck plays the underdog role pretty well. So if you're familiar with Historic, this is a deck that's a, basically an aggressive black-red deck. Um, a lot of recursive elements and a lot of benefits for sacrificing creatures. So we have our sacrifice outs. We'll start there. Greater Gargadon, really, really cool one here. Uh, a 9-mana nine 9-7 has Suspend 10. So every turn, it kind of goes away. And for 10 turns, it comes into play for free. And you um, can spend it on turn one. And you can sacrifice an artifact, creature, or land to remove one of these time counters. So if you say you had 10 lands in play, you can, in theory, you could sack all 10 of your lands and get a 9-7 for free, essentially. So um, a sack out that never goes away. They can't flat exile it. They can't fatal push it. Um, powerful card. Diminishing returns, for sure, but powerful card. We also have Carrion Feeder. Really cool card from Modern Horizons. 1-1 uh, one, one zombie for one. Sack creature, put a counter on it, uh, plays very well with Grave Crawler. We'll get to that. We also have Force has Witch's Oven, which, while very, very good with Cauldron Familiar, is also just a fine card by itself. Just a cheap sack outlet, gaining some life with food and things like that. And we also have Village Rights, which is a really, really good card in decks like this. One black, draw two. And a lot of our creatures come back very, very easily. So that's the first part is sacrificing things. Now, the one big upgrade that we get in modern over historic or standard is the fodder. Um, blood guest, namely, is phenomenal at coming back over and over and over again. 2-1 can't block, landfall, return it from your graveyard to play. So you can have it in play and sack it to carrying feeder, then play a Pluto Delta, comes back, sack it to carrying feeder, crack the Delta, get a swamp, blood guest comes back, sack it to carrying feeder. So you can see how blood guest is constantly hopping in out of the graveyard for, for benefits. Um, grave crawler, same idea, one black for 2-1. If you have a zombie in play, you can cast from your graveyard. So with Carrion Feeder, you can sack it, add a counter, play it, sack it, add a counter, play it, sack it, and so on and so forth. So that's a cool little combo if the game was late. And um, those are two really good recursive elements here. A couple other cool things, of course, are Smuggler's Copter, a card that I think is underplayed in Modern. Um, this card is banned in Pioneer, um, would be broken in Historic if it was there, was broken in Standard at the time. Just a really efficient, powerful card. And it is, of course, in a format with Lightning Bolt and Fatal Push, sure. But as far as the threats go, um, cheap, evasive, and then most importantly, we discard. We discard a Gravecrawler or a Blood Guest. That's a benefit for us. So we're basically just drawing cards for free off it. It's super awesome. And Supplier to fill the Graveyard, of course, real obvious. You can sacrifice it to things. Mills finds Blood Guest, and so on and so forth. The big topper here is Mayhem Devil, which is a 3-3 that says, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, it pings something for one. So... Remember how I was saying we were going to sack Gravecrawler, get it back, sack Gravecrawler, get it back. Now you can ping things in between every sacrifice. And this all triggers off your opponent's stuff. So they crack a wooded foothills, they're taking one. They sacrifice a chromatic steer, they're taking one. So a lot of things add up with this card in modern. And this thing triggers a lot and, uh, off your stuff and your opponent's stuff. A very, very powerful card. Insanely good Witch's Oven and familiar, real good top end. Will mow down any creature deck, which is really, really cool. So... Of course, we played the Firstborn 2 against creature decks. Resilient threats against control. Um, this is a solid deck here, backed up by Thoughtseize. Good sideboard cards like Blood Moon, a Braid. Um, trying out Cabal Therapist, a card that I think is really, really cool. Uh, not doesn't play as well as it looks, but still might be fine in the deck. Dial Spell Bomb. Claim the Firstborn. 
kind of get the idea. But this is a really cool deck, very low to the ground, can be aggressive, but has a lot of late game too. Very good against creatures. I'm pumped. You should be too. At first, we work from our sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, round number one on the draw, Rakdos Sacrifice. Opener is pretty good. Pretty good. Not amazing, but good. Um, Copter is a little redundant here. We have some graveyard stuff. Going to hope to hit um, you know, Blood Gas off Supplier here. Um, we have Gravecrawler as well, which is kind of nice, so we can discard the Gravecrawler to... Um... I'm sorry. Our opponent chose to draw. Okay, cool, I guess. Uh, sure. Um... We have to decide if we're going to Supplier or Gravecrawler here. I actually would love to discard the Gravecrawler to the Smuggler's Copter for value. And we feed up, we had Blood Gas off this. really good too. I'm going to lead on Supplier, actually. Why chose to draw first? Interesting. I mean, if they're playing 8 Rack, which is one of the few cards I think decks that wants to draw first, our deck is really good against them. So, <laughs> no, Scalding Tarn. Uh, I am not sure what deck wants to go second. Soul Scar Mage. They must have misclicked. There's just no way that the Mountain Soul Scar Mage deck wants to go second. Um, so it happens. Misclicks, you know. Village Rights. Village Rights is pretty good. Um, we're going to play Copter here. We could, like, just play Gravecrawler and then block in Village Rights, the supplier. Um, obviously, Copter is a little weak to Lightning Bolt, but I think we're just going to play. Also, they're playing Tarn. They're probably playing Blue also. I'll just get the, get the Copter going. Um, We'll have to decide if we want to block with Supplier or not. Um, honestly, not sure. The card Lava Dart is pretty good against us, but we'll see what they do here. Obviously, blocking with Supplier is pretty nice because we get to uh, mill some cards and stuff, but I'd rather discard the Gravecrawler to the Copter, so also keep a Zombie in play. Let's see what they're up to. One red in the pool. Wild Slash. All right. Uh, I guess. I mean, this is targeting the supplier. We could crew the copter in response, but we're probably not blocking with it, so it's not really worth it. So this is fun. Hit a blood gas, please. We really like a blood gas here. I'd be really, really good. We had a grave crawler. It's not the worst, I guess. So we can crawler, retain priority, crawler. We'll attack for two here. They have five cards in hand. All right. Uh, we drew another village rights. So yeah, we're going to crawler, crawler. I want to leave village rights up, I think. Um, I guess I don't really need to, though. I guess I can attack the copter. Yeah, but we're going we're gonna to shock here. It feels pretty bad, but shock, play crawler. We want to have priority. So we, we were never passing priority here. If we like go to crew, then we kill the grave crawler response. We couldn't play our other grave crawlers. So play the other grave crawler. We're gonna fire up copter. Might get bolted. If it does, we'll just second the village rise, which is fine. Copter? Alright, so we're gonna bolt it, which is fine. So we're going to Village Rights, sacking Christing the Copter. So one black draw two, awesome. Castle Land, that's not very good. Um, we're going to need some form of, form of interaction here in some way. Uh, lands four and five, not great. Obviously we can just Village Rights, Gravecrawler, and then recast it, which is pretty cool, but we're at 16, not ideal. Sprite Dragon, pretty good. Definitely looking for a claim the Firstborn. We have two in our main deck, I think. Yeah, another Soul Scar Mage, sure. Sure, attack for 
a bit. Snow-covered mountain. So not very good draws here. Not very good draws. Um, we can definitely just attack Village Rites, a Grave Crawler, draw two, and then go from there. He's camp block anyway, obviously, so. I only have two cards left. I do have a Fire Islet. Alright, so take four. Village rights, sacrifice grave crawler. Draw two. <laughs> Those are some pretty bad draws. Um Alright, we are going to cast the mother's copter. Play castle, play grave crawler, and we can crew the copter on defense and discard the blood gas. This is this is seven lands. This is like we're playing 20 lands in our deck, you know? That is a, a very, very large amount of lands. Um, we're going to have to try to block the copter here and hope that things don't go wrong, realistically. Cracking the Isles, that's, that's good for us. That's, that's a good start. Okay. All right, here they come. Crew one. I will attempt to block Sprite Dragon if they allow me to. Even if we just get to block, like, even if they kill the copter. All right, we're going to loot. Discard Blood Guest. Wow, nothing? I mean, even a shock there or a lava dart would have shrunk the copter. Another Soul Scar Mage. Wow. Okay. Um, ooh. Okay, so that's a clan the Firstborn. Don't currently have a sacrifice outlet, which is kind of wild. We should have all lands, I guess, which kind of makes sense. Um, we are going to play a land, get back blood gas, crew copter, attack for seven, and hope this loot turns up really good because we got a lot of landos right now. All right, Smuggler's Copter, help me out here. A lot of good draws. Any sacrifice outlet is a great draw. All right, here it is. Big draw, big draw, big draw. It's a Thoughtseize. I mean, I think we're casting that, however horrible that sounds, because whatever card in their hand will probably do more than two damage, and it also pumps all three Soul Scar Mages. So you can't really afford to just like let them go off next turn. Um, they also didn't play a land next turn if they have all spells in their hands. Yeah, we're going to cast Thoughtseize. It just feels awful, but... Um, then we get to play Cauldron Familiar to block with, which is not the worst. They have a Lava Dart in their hand, and we're super dead. This feels painful. Storming, Storming Dragon. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. They have two, two stone bricks in their hand. Uh, play Cauldron Familiar. Drain for one, say go, they're dead next turn. Um, they draw a Lava Dart here. We are amazingly still alive. They draw a Cantrip into Lava Dart. We're dead. But they essentially have two blank cards in their hands. So they're drawing the card off the top of their deck, has to win the game. Because we're going to steal one of their things and crew and attack for a lot and kill them. So. Pretty bold attack. Um, we're gonna block. I'm just gonna play it safe. They drew a bolt. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're at six. I mean, they're like pretty dead. Light up the stage. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, truth be told. Or nine. I don't know if that's like enough though. They hit Soul Scar Mage, Fiery Islet. So they can go land, play Stormwing, and there's dead. That's cool. We like that. We love that actually. Cool. So despite drawing a hundred thousand lands, we somehow stole this game. Um and it feels like we stole it, like completely stole this game. 
So steal Soul Scar, Crew Copter, attack with everything they die. <laughs> Drew a lot of lands this game. All right. Uh, claim the Firstborn. Crew Smuggler's Copter. Takia. You're dead. A lot of lands. A lot of lands. We're only playing, we're only playing 20 lands. I do wish that Faithless Looting was legal. Uh, because uh, with looting, obviously, would be insanely good in the deck. But also would allow us to play like, 15, like 18 lands. Uh, which is really, really cool. So, alright. Um, the bad news is that Claim can't hit that blue flyer. Because it costs 5. Um, but Claim is good elsewhere. We have a Braid, Brutality. Uh, I would say we're not going to want Thoughtseize. Lobmancer's not bad either, honestly. Lobmancer. And then Claim is a little awkward. Um, cutting all of our thought seizes. And then... Claim is still good enough, I guess. Their threat base is like Swift Spear, Soul Scar, Sprite Dragon, and the blue big flyer. Um, we could like shave a grave crawler maybe, or it's also possible like Gargadon isn't good enough, just like too slow. And then we could shave like one grave crawler or one bluff with one grave crawler, just in case they have surgical or something like that, you know. So I think we should be in pretty good shape post board. Now we have like better removal spells. Um, I think we're good here. We were mostly saved by the fact that their turn three was really bad. Um, they had a really good start with the Soul Scars. We drew a lot of lands, but they had that one turn where they just like main phase cracked their fiery isolate and like didn't do much else. That was the uh, the key turn for us because they really weren't able to advantage, take advantage of our stumbles and their good good start. Again, I'm not sure why they chose to draw. Um, if they played first. They might have won that game. I, I don't. I don't know if that's strategic or a misclick or or what. Probably a blunder either way, but... Alright, so they chose to play this game. Uh, we're going to mulligan, obviously. Into a pretty good end. You can keep this. Um, Carrion Feeder Bloodgast is solid. But... Not really great. I think we're going to ditch the Carrion Feeder. We can just go turn one oven. And then turn two, we can like a braid. Definitely prefer, we don't really like casting blood gas. We'd love to just discard it or mill it or something like that. Actually casting the card is not super great, but we have no like fodder piece here to keep recurring. So blood gas fits that role. And then oven gains life, which is nice. A braid's fine. So let's cut the feeder. So we're on six, they're on seven. Steam vents, shocking in. Yep. That was pretty good. Yeah, the witch's evidence, they go. And now we can claim. Um, they sprite dragon or whatever, get Swiss beer or claim or whatever. That's pretty cool. Turn into some food. The food's pretty valuable in a Bernie matchup, so. Although they are definitely not as Bernie as like Mono Red Prowess or Burn, because these the uh, the blue cards can get really big and just like, kill your opponent through uh you know much more chunky means. Yeah, I said chunky. They won't want to fight about it. Yep. So Let's see what they got going on here. We love a sprite dragon, I think. It's like sprite dragon attack, we can just claim it. We have a brain too. They're gonna wild slash us, which I assume they're gonna follow up with a light up stage. Sure. Revealing land serum visions. Sure. So fine. Um definitely I think that incentivizes us to want to get the Suspear off the board next turn. 
to slow the damage down. We draw a swamp. Um, a braid is our way to kill the stupid uh, five mana flyers. So we're just going to claim here and sacrifice it. Probably just get a, a blood crypt. I guess the delta could be used to double to double tap on the on the blood guest. Um, get that witch's oven going. That would require us to cast blood gas next turn, which I don't think is in the cards. They're probably playing a braid next turn, so we're just gonna play delta and just get it out of the way. Less damage we take from our lands, the better. Make a food. Hungry? Why wait? So they have Tarn Seer Missions. So they get they get two for one off of Light of Sage, which is fine, I guess. But they're spinning wheels here. I think we're pretty happy. I think like Sprite Dread. Oh, they're going to get a tapped Steam Vents. And play Soul Scar Mage. And then I guess play Seer Missions. They could have got like an Island and cast Seer Missions, but then not to... to like, if they're scared of, like, ruining their scries, they could have done that. Because now if they draw one drop, they can't cast it. It's kind of weird, but sure. I'm not, like, thrilled about abrading this Soul Scar Mage. I'd really like to save it for one of the flyers, but... I also need to, like, not die. I guess we could just, like, play Blood Guest. We could, like, save the Delta. I guess we could just, like, fetch now, play the Blood Guest, sack it, get it back. That'd give us a lot of food. Yeah, I'll just sack it now. I think Cauldron Familiar is one of our best possible draws here. Their scry went um, bottom top. Pretty average. All right, so Grave Crawler is here. So we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna Blood Guest, sack it, play a land, play Grave Crawler. We could uh, we could have braid and kill Soulscar Mage now, but it's also a chance we can just like Mayhem Devil kill it if you like draw a fetch land, which would be, which would be a lot better. I think we're not in like super dire straits of the life, and I want to keep the upgrade for the flyers. So play Blood Guest. Sack the oven. I think fetch land's like by far our best draw because we want to have more mana to activate, activate these foods too. Hello, blood guest. Do they have surgical extraction? Starting to feel like it. Starting to feel like it. Can't imagine they wouldn't surgical extraction here if they had it. It's a pretty good target on a pretty good spot. Who knows? Who knows? I want to remind you all we have a companion article to this video and all my videos uh, on CoolStuffInc.com proper. I do a video article every Monday and a written article every Friday. And on Monday, if you're watching the video on YouTube, you can go to CoolStuffInc.com and read the article that goes along with it. And uh, definitely a good thing to do as well as checking out CoolStuffInc.com in general. Great deals for all the best game stuff. Been in business forever. Use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com and you get a free Jim Davis Goblin token with your order. So get a discount, get a cool Goblin token, read the best content in the web. Um, it's free content every weekday on CoolStuffInc.com with me and other fine offers. So check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Blood Gas Trigger still in stack. They have four cards at hand. I mean, like if you brought in surgical extraction and you're not using it here, when are you using it? You know, like I don't think there's a better spot than this. So, so we're going to grave crawler, and then ideally we draw a fetch land. We can go devil, crack fetch, get two shots off of our devil, kill soul scar mage. Um, we have a braid too. They're at 14, so like we also can start attacking them too. I 
my Friday article on CoolStuffInc.com uh, last Friday was all about Modern Horizons 2. Modern Horizons 2 was announced, of course, and um, a little uh, little memeing today on Twitter by me is the easiest way to get clicks on Twitter. Just post a meme that's uh, relating to something that's happening right now about magic design not being perfect, and there you go. There's your meme. There's your meme. So articles all about Modern Horizons 2. I think it's actually gonna be a really good thing, honestly, as long as they can keep the uh, the power level to a reasonable place. Blood Gas is uh, is in play. That's awesome. We did it. And uh, play this and say go. So we now have more power in play than they do, which is good. Um, they can, of course, change that this turn by like a lot. They have five cards in hand. So start this party with a red red for a lava dart. Lava dart is good against us. And another lava dart. They're going to double cast lava dart, retaining priority, which requires an extra button push. So you have killed my things that are uh, very, very good at coming back from uh, from the dead. Which is fine. And we're going to attack for three. Um, I'll be really happy here if I don't play another threat. If they were to like, you know, go land storming entity, we might be in trouble. But obviously killing Dart and Blood Guest is not that bad for us. Definitely want to draw a land here. Fetch land is the best, but honestly any land is good. Nothing. That's not bad either, honestly. Splier's good. Splier's good. Fill the graveyard up a little bit. Now we can abrade this Soul Scar Mage. We're probably going to do now, I guess. Um, can't play Mayhem Devil into a Lightning Bolt with nothing to do with it. Obviously, we can just like Supplier, block, sack it, gain four. We're in no rush to do anything. We could abrade too, but I don't think we're, we're going to. I think we're just going to wait. We can just block. See, I, I really want to save this abrade for uh, a more threatening threat, so. Mill some cards. Mill the village rights, Mayhem Devil, Carrion Feeder. We also have the Gravecrawler in the bin too, which we can get back. We get back Gravecrawler though, then we can't sack it. We can't, uh, can't food or a braid, which is a little tough. Um, so, question is is that even worth it? Is that even worth it? And they can dart the supplier. I don't think it is, honestly. I think we're just going to say go. Okay. Um, maybe they had to go to the bathroom or something. I have no idea. That's match one. What are you going to do? I mean, that game was definitely close. Um, I think if we lost that game and we're on the play for game three, I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. I mean, we we can handle the creatures pretty easily. We do have a bunch of uh, or like random life gain in our deck with like the ovens, the cauldron familiars, and the brutalities. I mean, we can clock them too. So it seems like a fine matchup, you know? But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's cool, I guess. All right. Uh, match number two on the play. Definitely keeping. Very solid hand. Copter to discard these Grave Crawlers and Blood Gas is awesome. We have Suppliers, which is a good start. If we knew we were playing against, we could decide if we were going to Supplier first or Oven first. Only have three Blood Gas to hit with Supplier. Um, and playing Oven first guarantees value if they're able to like kill it. But I guess they wouldn't just kill it, so I'm going to play Supplier. Once you play Copter, they can choose to kill it, you know, but we're going to mill a Supplier, a Gargadon, and a Delta. Sure. Arid Mesa, and they're passing the turn. All right. Untap. Draw another Oven. Sure. So we want to hit Familiar, like we have uh, Blood Gast, or Gravecrawler with our uh, our mills here. That's 10, uh, I guess it's uh, three, six, nine cards we can hit. All right, I mean, they'll probably have an answer to this copter, but we'll just see what they do here. They can bolt it, path it. Iron Mesa just saying go is certainly interesting. Possibly like a Jeskai control deck, something like that. Ooh, Shelter Thicket. Okay. So Mountain could be like a Valakit deck. Rain 6 would be annoying here, but not that bad, honestly. All right, this is like a Valakit deck, which is probably a bad matchup for us, honestly, because um, we're not going to kill them fast enough before they can just, like, get their Valakits in play and don't really have a way to stop them. 
Uh, so probably not good for us, truth be told. All of our sacrificey things are just kind of like grindy. And Valaga tends to beat the crap out of uh, like creature decks that aren't super fast. Um, so we'll see what we can do here. Claim claim the firstborn. Some tells you they're not going to give me the tribe builder. Just going to throw that out there. All right, so we're going to... um. We're going to crew copter. Yeah, these ovens are not very good against Balagat. And we're going to fire in. We're going to loot. And we draw land. I think Thoughtseize is one of our important cards, too. That's a land. So let's grab Bloodgast. Get him for three. And we're going to uh, play land, get back blood guest. Play crawler and play oven and play oven, I guess. Again, the ovens aren't very good against uh, against Valakit. Actually, I'm going to hold one of the ovens to discard to a uh, smuggler copter. I probably should have actually oven first and just sack the supplier and tried to hit another blood guest or call him familiar or something like that um so we're probably do that end step anyway so if we hit a blood guest now we can't put it in play that's fair that's definitely a, a fair thing they also have like anger of the gods in their deck probably too either in main or sideboard so like typically valakid beats up oh that's a really good target for claims firstborn typically valakid beats up hard on graveyard slow ag like you know middle of the road aggro decks yeah, that was insane for them. So they have they have Titan next turn. We need to draw a. Uh, oh my god, they have everything. Sure, we need to draw Thoughtseize. Just uh, that's really all there is to it. Mill three lands. There's a food. All right. We have two shots of Thoughtseize. There's one. That's a Black Leaf Glyphs. All right, so we're gonna claim the firstborn targeting the Dryad. We're going to use it to crew. I guess we'll use the. Yeah, I'll use it to crew the copter, I guess. Near thoughts these, folks. Near thoughts these. Big draw here. I like it's old school. Come on now. Are you serious? My mouse, I'm like, oh, my mouse bad. I must have misclicked. That's that's actually awful. All right. Draw Thoughtseize? No. Not the worst draw, but... Um... All right, so that's obviously pretty terrible. We missed two points of damage because my mouse went off the mouse pad. Not cool. Not cool. They also have all mountains in play, too. So the, uh, the, the Valakits are like... I think we're just actually probably dead next turn. All right, so play an oven, play Calder Familiar, Sack Dryad, and uh, let's we'll say go, I guess. Wait, they can like only 18 us, and we can draw a Mayhem Devil. Maybe we can kill them then. Titan or no? Four cards in end. It's a simple, honest deck. Valakit. Just... Do you have the Titan? Simple as that. That pauses them figuring out if they should play a land before or after Titan, which is bad for us. They got a forest? What? Does it matter? So they get Valakit Mountain here? Well, they only deal, deal three. Two Valagates. They have a land drop? They have a land drop. Don't be a fetch land. Without a fetch land, we might be able to sneak through this copter if we draw, if we draw a uh, exactly a... What's it called? They just shocked too? Wow. Yeah, Man Devil does it. Man Devil definitely does it. So, Blood Guest. Kill both of these. Sure.
there are eight. Honestly, I think a sack outlet would kill them too. Because we can keep sacking the foods and kill them with the familiar thing. I think I think a sack outlet does it like a, like a carrying feeder does it too here. Does it also here. Village rights. That's actually pretty good. So fire up the crew. Don't have bolt here. And I think I think we, I think we actually win. God, you son of a bitch. Alright. Um so we're gonna actually village rights the familiar because right now we have extra points of damage in play. We can just keep getting it in the graveyard and we can keep fooding it back and sacking it and fooding it back. So uh yeah. All right. We drew Thoughtseize Delta. I don't think that's good enough. That kind of stinks. Um, if we had the Thoughtseize, we could have like Thoughtseize the Lightning Ball before we attacked. That's annoying. Um, we're at 20. I mean, obviously if Titan attacks, we're just dead. I think we're just dead. Let's Thoughtseize them. Um, so we can get back familiar and sack it, get it back, sack and get it back. It's only three damage. Yeah, if the um I guess we actually still would still have enough. Alright, they got us. It's fine. Blood guess also not enough. So I mean tough game. Definitely um, you know, they're just very, very simple and good at what they do, and that's obviously very good against us. Bring our therapist, our thoughts ease. We need to be able to attack their uh, their hand. Claim, Brie, and none of this stuff really matters, honestly. Just literally, can we stop them getting tightened or not? Um, claim the Firstborn is pretty awful. Honestly, the ovens and the village rights aren't great either. I guess at least, at least the oven is good with Mayhem Devil, so you can, like, cheese them out that way. I would say the Gargadons are useless, and I would say you can probably shave a... Yeah, village rights, I guess. I mean, village rights can draw to thoughts these, I suppose. Let's shave an oven. So we got Blood Moon too. So we have Blood Moon, four thoughts these two therapists. You know, they have to also like just draw Titan. You know, like the Valga deck doesn't really have a way to, way to search for Titan unless they're playing uh, Summoner's Pack too. So like, you know, if they have it, they have it kind of thing. All right. I mean, it's not great. We have Blood Moon though, so we're gonna keep. The first one will get Blood Crypt. Put him all against the six. Sure. You have Feeder Familiar. It's got a little bit of a pseudo beatdown draw here. Search for tomorrow is ideal. It's their ideal opening for sure. Black Leaf Cliffs. That's a pretty good draw because now we have a uh, we have Blood Moon and it's pretty well hidden too. Interesting question of if we just like pile it onto the feeder. Probably not because it would be a three three. So we'll just attack here for one, I guess. Hmm. Kind of want to wait on Blood Moon because I want to. I want this search to resolve first. Have them try and be greedy and get mountains. I think. Um, so we're probably gonna Mayhem Devil next turn. They play a Tribe Elder. We play Devil. Sack one thing. Kill it. Attack. Yeah, we're just attacking with the one thing here, and not sack. Blood Moon doesn't really matter until they're actually going for Valakit. So if they keep far seeking, getting duels. And don't get any forests. They can't cast Titans. So yeah, exactly. So they're trying. Their goal is obviously to get as many mountains in play as possible to make Valakid as, as lethal as possible. Getting too far is definitely not in their primary plan. Um, all right, so we're gonna save the Delta. We're just gonna do this. Play Mayhem Devil. I guess just smash like. They have Anger the Gods, we can sack all these things and make a 4-4 feeder, which is good. Um, same damage output by sacking stuff or not sacking stuff, because we can sack things later anyway, so just say go. 
Blood Moon is safely concealed in our hand. So hopefully get a mountain here, honestly. Cool. So I mean like also they have Simeon Spirit Guide. Should be okay here. Tri Builder. Perfect. And Bolt the Mayhem. Why would they? <laughs> sure. So I probably should have done it the other way. Um, so now I can kill a Tri Builder. So we'll sack the uh sack the devil. Ping this. This forces their choice now. So they will get a uh uh, mountain yeah they're just super dead to this uh blood moon unless they have exactly nature's claim also which they probably won't hopefully you know cabal therapist sure again carrying feeder playing around uh anger of the gods which is kind of cool All right, nice Titan, opponent. Nice Titan. You concede now. You concede now. All right. Um, I don't know if Thoughtseize yet either. Like Thoughtseize is obviously pretty good against them. We can just you know snipe their uh, Titan before they can cast it. All right. See what we can do. See what we can do. Not a great end. Um, this is like a really mopey creature hand. This is not beating them on the draw. I uh, can't beat an anger of the gods, has no interaction at all. We're gonna mulligan this end. We're not a creature beat down deck, you know, we are a synergy deck, so we're gonna mulligan. That's a lot better. Uh, we're gonna keep this and ship a land and just try and thought seize them a million times, honestly. We are on the draw, so turn one mountain graph digger's cage. While that is annoying. Realistically, we don't really need our graveyard to beat them. We are kind of just like thoughts using them and like taking this. It's kind of a mulligan for them, honestly, which is kind of cool. So, all right, we're going to uh, start off by thoughts using them. And their opener is Scape Shift, Beast Within, Summoner's Pact, and Two Lands, which is actually kind of awesome for us because their hand's pretty bad. Um, I don't even care about Beast Within. So we'll just take this. I'm going to respect. Like, they have no ramp. They don't have enough lands to cast anything. And again, they're down a card because of Graft Digger's Cage. It's, uh, that's a good That's good for us. It's gonna, this is good. So there you go. We have, we have Therapist too, which is kind of cool. Valak could go, sure. So I don't think we're interested in playing uh, the second Thought Seize yet. Just play Therapist and say go. Don't have any threats currently, which is kind of an issue, but really awkward card, Cabal Therapist, because you can't really activate it whenever you want to. Right, they're going to play Stomping Ground untapped and say go. They have Beast Within and up. Sure. All right, so we're not going to sacrifice the Therapist. We drew an Oven, which is pretty terrible. Um, attack for one. I think we're not gonna thought seize yet. Let's play oven, just play blood crypts apt, say go with village rights up. We like actively want them to kill my stuff so I can sack it and draw cards. But the graph digger's cage and play the oven's almost worthless. So we draw another land, sure. That was a medium draw. Not as good as it looks. So no. All right, so play this, attack. Don't have a uh, Veil of Summer. Their hand is Beast Within, Beast Within, Titan, Scape Shift. Okay, take the Titan. Play Cauldron Familiar. And we can like 
resolve a therapy next turn. Take beast within. So they're pretty far from casting escape shifts, so. Okay, so I drew a nine, drew a, drew a spell. We're gonna hold Delta because we're gonna swap off it anyway, so. Alright, so we're going to do this. We're gonna sacrifice the cauldron familiar and just name beast within. And then I guess they're going to beast in the therapist. And then we're going to. Well, no. So, so you have to choose the name of resolution. So we're going to sacrifice this and target them. If they want to, they can beast in response. We'll see what they do. If they do that, we'll village rights. His name scape shift. This resolves. We'll name beast them. Let's see one to three three. Honestly, I just want the three three. We're going to name beast them. On their hand, they drew the, they drew the Titan. That's pretty sick. Oops, I didn't have uh, our sure. All right, so I have Scape Shift Titan. We have another creature and Village Rights. Therapist being pretty good here, actually. It's kind of cool. Too scared to play Village Rights. We could try and play and draw more creatures, but I'm too scared to do that, so. I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, they draw land number four, so now we have to name Titan. So we're gonna untap. We're gonna village rights. Not village rights. A uh, therapist. We draw blood guest. Not as cool as it could be, but pretty good. Sack this. Target you. Right, build Titan, and give me that. Thank you. So I have scape shift. You need two more lands for scape shift. We're at 13. Play blood guest. Attack for one. Not exactly the fastest clock here, but it's okay. All right. I mean, now we just take scape shift. So they are drawing off the top here. I mean, just draw Titan, we're just dead. But we'll take scape shift here. And I think now we're going to select Therapist because I think we want to get more damage in, so. Draw Delta. Scrapthinger's Cage is obviously very annoying. We've gotten two Titans, so. They only have two Titans left. Um, Kura Tribe Elder, sure. Funny thing here is I'll probably just block and not sacrifice. So we might just sack the Blood Guest. Carrion Feeder. No way to kill Cage. We love to draw Mayhem Devil. I'm gonna village rights. They'll, they'll just block with, with block with this and not. Oh, they actually have mountains in play. They have a Valken in play too. They can start bolting things. Oh man, this is gonna be a little hard. Sure, what's that village rights? Draw something good here. That's not good at all. Um, okay. Gonna hold the cliffs in case you drop. In case we draw a, uh, a copter, I guess. I don't think we need that much mana, so we're out the Gargadons, right? Yeah. Play Mountain. All right. Well, they have two bolts at the ready, which is pretty bad for us. Huh? Come on, therapist. All right. Just send, send him in, I guess. I would happily trade now because the elders were the bolt, so just trade. I'll probably just block, sack, and kill the carrion feeder. Or attempt to, at least. No, just gonna let it die. Sure. That's what I mean. I mean, it's weird. 
Like they traded Elder for a feeder and took one. They could have just traded Elder for a feeder and took zero. So far seek, sure. So target carrying feeder. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately, most of their deck is live now because they have a uh, obviously they just draw lands. They have Valakut. Love to draw Blood Moon. Um, Blood Gas is not bad actually. It's got haste. It's got haste. Opponent's life is ten or less. Just taking it all. Wow. I mean, they drew another foothills. They've got uh, that's two bolts that deals with my board. There are five. I mean, Mayhem Devil still uh still really good draw here. Uh, yeah, untap. Draw supplier, not particularly good, but one of four. I only have one bolt left, I guess. So mill some more cards. Mill over blood gas, blood gas. I'm sorry, blood gas, grave crawler. It's like the actual best possible, and I uh, can't use any of it. Ugh. Definitely the only time we le this league we mill over two good graveyard creatures with supplier. It's a cage and play. Lightning bolt targeting therapist, sure. Basically, every draw in their deck is a lightning bolt, except for Titan, which wins the game. Or Scape Shift. Basically a dead draw. Uh so now we're gonna put them to three. I mean they're dead to a mayhem devil, so yes, please. Come on, come back. Let's see a bug here, no? All right, sure. Please draw Mayhem Devil. We have four devils in 37 cards. Oh, God. Okay, that's, that's fine. We also have a life gain, too, honestly. So we're like, we're not going to die to random, you know, Sacred Foundry. Interesting. They're going to play, they're going to Bolt Supplier, sure. All right. Milled over a grave crawler and some land. So not mayhem devil. So now we have four devil and thirty-four cards. I'm gonna sack one of these. So I'll draw blood moon or devil. So we have six aces in our deck. Just gotta draw an ace. That's a swamp. Um, this is more mana for food, right? So you go. We definitely have more aces than they do, right? I mean, they have. I guess they have, they have scape shift and. Summoner's Pact and Titan. They only have two Titans, maybe three Summoner's Packs, and maybe like one or two Scape Shifts left. So I think we have just as many Aces as they do, honestly. Still have three things in play to sacrifice to the Devil. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. All right. Let's see a devil here. The devil you know. The devil you know. Oh, you love to see it. Mayhem devil. And if they sack their foothills or their tribal, the tribal, they also die. So let's get this party started. Bolt. Sacrifice. I don't care how many times you kill it, it's still going to kill you. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's a bad matchup for sure. So 2 0. We like that. We like that. Um,. Grab the cage. Definitely not, not expect, expecting that one. Um, can't really afford to bring in a braid, I don't think. Call against command's fine. Just like discard a card is like honestly fine against them because they need six lands and a titan. So if they mulligan at all, 
and you defaultize them or whatever. Like you saw that game, it kind of just didn't make land drops, you know. So it is certainly uh, you know, they need six lands, six land drops, and a Titan. Uh so definitely uh they have a fail state, you know, they have a fail state. Obviously the graveyard hate, you know, it hurts our deck, but we still have Smuggler's Copter, we still have Mayhem Devil. So like village rights and sacrificey stuff, you know. Um, wouldn't mind having some sort of like cool non graveyard threat to bring in um in sideboard games. I'm not sure what that threat would be exactly. Obviously Copter fits that bill pretty well, but something else that's kind of threatening, but not um not graveyardy. I'm not sure what that would be, honestly. Not really any good like Planeswalkers that fit the bill. Um, some like Bitter Blossom is probably just too slow. It would be like fine against like a really slow control -y deck, but. All right. We are on the draw and we have a an okay hand. Um, double rights of, and we can keep this hand. Upon a Mulligan 6, we're going to keep. We just have double village rights and creatures. We just play Gravecrawler and second village rights, you know? So we're on the draw. We should draw land too. Point along, it's a five, sure. Windswept Heath, sure. What do you got for me? Topius Roll. So, probably the stupid uh, Heliod Company deck. I really hate that deck. Just a really easy two card combo. It's very, very, uh, very irritating. Chose green, though. Could also be like a Ponza deck, honestly. We do Thoughtseize. Um, I like the, like the Gruel. Kind of deck. Let's play Gravecrawler and say go. Probably want to village rights next turn, try and draw a land. Gotta make some land drops to win here. Obviously them on, on the mulligan to five on the play makes our thoughts a lot better, but more green. Oath of Nissa. This could be a mono green devotion deck, which uh thoughts is gonna be really good against. Old Growth Troll. In search of greatness. Then you have your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand. The averted mana cost equal to one plus the highest converted mana cost among other permanents you control without paying its mana cost if you don't scry one. So basically this is like Aether Vial for things you have in play. So they can play a two drop for free next turn. One plus one. Sure. Draw land, please. Didn't draw land. Um, now we're in a bind because... They could play... I mean, they have, they have an old growth troll in their hand. If I don't say just dies to claim the firstborn, we could just draw land. It's actually a really good claim target, so we'll, we'll get the... Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's farce, but... I'm going to build rights here. Let's draw land. We get two shots at it. We did it. All right, and then we're going to get... uh, going to get ourselves a Blood Crypt. And do we even thought these, honestly? Because we're just going to... Claim the firstborn village rights their old growth troll next turn. And I don't even want to thought seize that if they if they that's the only card they have, you know, they only have three mana here. So I'm just gonna play um play a supplier, I think. Over carrion feeder. Supplier is gonna reveal Grape Crawler and Blood Guests. Oh, thank heaven for mirror for small miracles, I guess. Didn't think that was possible. So they get to play a spell that costs two or less for free. Only have two cards in hand, and one's an old growth troll, so that's not going to do anything. Um, very weird card, kind of like Aether Vial meets Fire for some invention. Um, all right, so we're going to play land, so we're going to just destroy them this turn. Um, claim this, attack them for a bunch. Village rights it, draw land hopefully. We did not, but still in good shape. That that was pretty painful. We really wanted to thought seize there and get their last card, but we're hopefully still in good shape. Hopefully. Obviously, our thought is getting worse and worse because they don't have how many cards in their end, but one green. Sprawl number two on the same land for Arbor Elf and stuff. And they have Karn, the Great Creator. It's pretty good. They can go get... And snaring bridge. That's fine. We can kill him with non-combat damage, so that's not really that big of a deal. Um do you want to draw a land here though? We also have thought season in our hand too, but alright, we drew land. Okay, so 
They're at 11. Uh -huh, not 10, unfortunately, because then Blood Gas would have haste. We can just, like, attack Karn and Thought Seize the bridge and play Smuggler's Copter, I guess. We have, we have Blood Gas in the bin, too. God, we have to deal one damage to them, you know? It's funny, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have play Carrion Feeder. I guess we wouldn't hit this stuff, though, but... All right. Um, yeah, we're going to Thought Seize Copter. So, hit this. Always yes. Uh, Thought Seize, you're ensnaring bridge. And we play Smuggler's Copter. And attack Karn for the old one ball. So now they can't minus it and keep it alive. They were to draw a land here and play a um a worm coil engine. That'd be a little trouble troublesome. They could also get like a, a ballista, maybe. I have Sky Sovereign too, honestly, but that's funny. We can't even copter with the Karn in play. That's true. That's true. I actually didn't realize that. Stupid passive abilities. Hmm. Obviously, they can't minus and have Karn still in play, though, so. Snaring Bridge. So, they had cards in hand. They could have cast a. Uh... If any of your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand with a converted mana cost equal to one plus the highest converted mana cost among other permanents you control without paying. So it has to be exactly five? This card seems bad. Like, it's just like so many hoops. Just so many hoops, you know? Make four, sure, they're gonna, they're gonna get Ballista here probably. Which is like totally fine. I'm gonna get Sky Sovereign. Oh. They drew a Karn. Okay, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good draw, honestly. Uh, that's terrible for us. Uh, yeah, let's draw a land here. We're going to land. It's okay. It's okay, Jim. All right. Um, so we get to poke Karn down to... So if we had a land there, we could have gone Devil, uh, Feeder, Sack Deal 1 to Karn, or them. And it's, 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 it's Haze Gravecrawlers, or whatever. Um, all right. We need to put Karn to 1. Um, Karn plus Sky Sovereign is really good, because they can make it into a creature. But I think we can just get around that. Um, can't play Devil, that's Sky Sovereign. We have two Gravecrawlers in the bin, so we can really, like... Fill the board here pretty well. We also have village rights, which might, might want to do that too. So let's just start by attacking. It's actually not a 10. We would just kill this, the Karn. I don't know if we missed a point here in this game. Maybe we did, but attack Karn. All right, and we're going to play. I guess we're not going to play Carrion Feeder because they'll just kill it with the uh, the boat. So we just play. Actually, they can play the boat for free too. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick draw, pretty sick draw. Um, just play Crawler Crawler and say go. It's all things we don't mind dying, and we have Village Rights. And then we have Mayhem Devil plus Carrion Feeder next turn, which will just <laughs> down everything, so. All right, play Sky Sovereign for free. It's pretty good. I have no cards in hand, though, so, like, I guess they could, like, if they draw on landing, get Worm Coil. Um, but target that. We're going to Village Rights it. Draw two. Draw another devil, another feeder. Sure, it's fine, I guess. They, they draw Nissa? No. Genesis Hydra for three. So they can put a Burning Tree Emissary or an Oath of Nissa in play for free. Sure. And they have a three, three. Sure. So the Karn can animate the Sky Sovereign with its plus ability, and therefore it can attack. That's a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, I can't attack. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a creature at the end of turn. Sure. All right. So untap. Draw land. Oh, that was a good land to draw. We're, we're off to the races here, folks. Mayhem Devil. Carrion Feeder. Sack Blood Guest. Shoot. 
Probably just Genesis Hydra. I guess Copter can finish off the Karn. Yeah, I'll just start here. So. Bang, bang. I shot you down. Bang, bang. That awful sound. And then we sack it again. Actually, crew copter first. I can't, never mind. Hey. Uh, so, co copter can't kill the Karn then. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, did I screw up? No, I don't think so. It's like Delta too, which is pretty sick. So, we should actually do Delta shoot, Karn shoot. Yeah, I, I, I should, start, should, start, should start with Karn, I guess. This is a flyer. Actually, we can't attack. I'm I'm sorry, folks. This is like it's an animated Sky Sovereign. So we just need to kill the Hydra and kill the Karn, which is like totally doable. So um Yeah, just sack uh sack a supplier. Deal damage to this. Mill land mayhem devil, sure. Sack blood ghast. Shoot this. Sack Delta. Shoot Karn. Go get a swamp. Get blood gas back. Uh, did two more shots to Karn. So get back a grave crawler. Sack grave crawler. Shoot Karn. Sack grave crawler over blood guest. I also just trade the copter with the uh, the sky sovereign too, honestly. That would require sacking more than I want to sack, I think, though. So we'll just sack a... Probably Blood Guest and kill Karn. So they would need a pretty big draw here, I think. If they can draw a thing to Crew Sky Sovereign, they're at least in the game, but they'd probably just die in the backswing, so... Yeah, three, four. Yeah, I just go here. We're, like, well, well suited for uh, for next turn, so... They draw like the perfect card here. Are they Garrick off of the Oath Innocent? I didn't even see it. Mm. That does screw Sky Sovereign, but I don't think it matters. Untap two lands. Old Growth Troll. Okay. They're drawing pretty well. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um. They had nothing like two turns ago. All right, they're going to crew the Sky Sovereign, sure. Attack, they're going to bolt Mayhem Devil. We're going to crew. So we can just kill everything. I want to loot too, so we're going to crew. Just block and kill Sky Sovereign. We're going to sack this to Carrion Feeder. Sorry, sack the Grave Crawler to carry and feeder. Deal one to Sky Sovereign. Sack the Man Devil to Grave Carry and Feeder. Deal one to Sky Sovereign. And we also, we also have this like Yeah, which there's just there's a die carry and feeder. We actually could just like, it doesn't matter what we do, there's there's that, whatever. <laughs> we loot. Yes. Thoughts use, whatever. Alright, so there are, we have an 8-8. I don't know why it's blue, you can't even read it. Play Bloodstain Mire, play Mayhem Devil, you're just dead. Target you. Target you. Yeah. Sweet. So that was like the Mayhem Devil engine going off. Uh, going off there. Um, so very interesting. Like a mono green, like devotion deck. Um what are we gonna want here? They're gonna have some sort of graveyard hate for sure. So we need to like probably chill on maybe like grave crawler a little bit. Um definitely want thought sees. I think I want to claim the firstborn, I think. I mean old growth troll. Probably have like Lana Elf effects. Um don't want Lava Mancer. Lava Mancer plays well against Cage, which is definitely a possible card they could have. Lava Mancer. You shave two grave crawlers. Um Oven Familiar is really good with Mayhem Devil, but it's also, again the risk of them having like a cage or something. Oven is also bad against uh against Karn, so 
A braid is certainly interesting. Um, probably safer than claim, honestly. Let's actually bring it to claims. Or we're hedging here against uh, like graveyard hate and stuff. It's kind of familiar too. I'll call it man seems pretty good too, actually. So we just don't even bother with familiar, honestly. Let's call off familiars. Got the all the ovens too, maybe like so it's fifty nine cards. Oven's still fine by itself as a sack outlet. Um, I'm gonna put the third claim back in. Well, so the thing is, like, we want to kind of shift into more of a sacrifice deck than a graveyard deck against possible graveyard hate. So, I think this does that reasonably. Now, now our, our, our graveyard cards are four blood gas, two rave crawlers. That's basically it. So, that's a pretty bad hand. I mean, one more against a six. Turn one supplier turn to village rights isn't bad. You know, obviously we're gonna mill a lot of cards and stuff too. They mulligan mull to six. I'm just gonna keep. I think it's a loosey goosey keep, but this uh supplier hits. I guess we have less hits because we mulled boarded some of them out. That's true. That's actually based on that. I think if we had our, our game one configuration, that'd be cool with this. We actually mulled out, we boarded out five of our possible graveyard hits. That's actually makes our hand a lot worse. Sprawl, sure. Yeah, that's probably bad. That was probably a mistake. The supplier, sure. Claim copter carrying feeder. Ugh. Can I trade those for my lands, please? Peace match forests. Sprawl again. Alright. Green, green, green. Old growth troll, sure. Which is oven. Sure. So I'm just gonna get like a swamp and play oven and supplier. I think it's trampled too. It's annoying. I guess that was dumb. I could have. I, that was actually really stupid. By a blood guest. Yeah, a little loosey goosey, but sure. Um, we're gonna village rights. So we'll just say yeah. We only have two claims left. Yeah, maybe I'll want one more. I still need to see more of their deck too. I'm not really sure what they're doing exactly. Like old growth, old growth. Let's say Nick those, sure. And burning Jamisari, sure. So like this, they have to have like this, this deck is so like like flimsy where they only have one card left and it has to be a payoff, and it's not, they're just like screwed, but they seem to have it, obviously. So yeah, pretty ideal. Um this is basically the nuts for them. Just turn three, Karn and Reveal with four mana floating. So you get, get the Sky Sovereign here and destroy us. Yeah, that's a pretty good hand for them. <laughs> like one thought season his hand's totally over, so they're gonna get grab digger's cage, actually. Uh, I mean, I can't pressure the car. That makes sense. We mill over no graveyard cards anyway. So I kind of like our... It's it's funny is our our plan of trying to avoid graveyard stuff has worked, but we've also just like only drawn suppliers and then the graveyard is doing it anyway. So they're not going to tax. They're still relying on Karn, sure. Didn't draw clay in the first born. So really, really bad draws here. We also kept a terrible hand. So like, we deserve to lose this game. It's fine. They, I think if they're going to waste the nuts on our terrible hand, that's totally fine. Um, they just get like something huge next turn and kill us. Sure. Uh, I mean, we can make a Gargadon <laughs> pretty quick, I guess. Weird deck. Kind of cool. Looks really flimsy. Like, they had to have lands, Nykthos, a few creatures to, like, power up devotion, and a payoff. And, like, they had everything. Like, they used all seven cards by turn three, you know? And if we had thought season or anything like that, they were just in big trouble. So it's fine. They get ballista. We're sure the next game. We're just dead. We're not beating the uh, not beating the car in here. We have three lands in our hand. Bad keep. Bad keep. My bad. Um. 
I guess our suppliers aren't very good. Just kind of like is what it is. Um, they certainly have access to a lot of cages with the Karns. But I still think it's... I want, actually, I want, I, want, I want claim. I want the fourth claim. Bring the fourth claim. And... Lob Mantis also seems great. Ovens. I mean, Oven is a sack outlet because we are, you know, we're relying harder on claim now. We have four. The thing is, they're also not going to kill our sack outs. We have four feeder, two guarded on four village rights. Let's save another oven. I'm going to save all the ovens, actually. They ain't killing my, my carrying feeders and my guardons. And we'll just be a little more stingy with our, uh, our village rights. That's 10 sack outlets. Uh, yeah, perfect. Keep. All right, so start on supplier, I think. So I'm going to try and get lucky at Blood Guest. We had a Grave Crawler. Sure, it's fun. Probably playing Copper next turn, but they have Sprawl again. Nope. Winds of Teeth, sure. Copter, sure, this is fun. Get Swamp, play Copter, attack for one. Copter will help us find our, uh, our Thought Seasons and stuff. In Search of Greatness, sure. Delta. Okay. Um, Just fire it up here. We could like cast Gravecrawler. Yeah, so let's, do, let's do that. Let's fire up, cast Gravecrawler. I guess if we like draw Thought Seize now, we, we, we cast it over the Copter, so. Fire it up, get in. Give me a loot. Loot says Swamp. Sure, just discard a land here. I mean, good beats. A little soft to a card here, but... So they can play a card that costs two for free. If it's a Burning Tree Emissary, uh, they can't use the mana for me, which is pretty funny. Nykthos makes no mana currently. Without a Burning Tree Emissary, I guess. Ugh. I don't know why I talk. All the nuts, sure. So they have five mana. And they play an old growth troll. And that's it. Okay, let's go. It's party time. I'll take that. And I want to draw I'll be able to draw Thought Seas. And we have to cast village rights. So we're gonna crew. We can actually we can we can play a carrying feeder, I think. Crew with the carrying feeder. Crew with supplier. I should have actually crewed and then sack supplier before playing a land. Did I play land yet? No, I didn't play land yet. Alright. Um we smash. Loot. That's a thought seed. That's a bingo. That's a bingo if I ever saw one. And hey, we can't cast both of them. Um, that's interesting. So now we have to sack the old growth troll to carrying feeder, which is fine. And then we thought seize them, and they're gonna have this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is twelve damage. Puts them to two. They need to like win the game next turn, basically. So the question is, do I want to have Thought Seize for next turn or Village Rights for next turn? Probably Thought Seize, honestly. I think we're pretty in pretty good shape here. See if they block or not here. Imagine not. It would be the Devotion, so sure. So they go to two. Thought Seize ya. Yeah. What do you got? Heh. <laughs> Bale of Summer, not good enough. Um, they have Hydra, another old growth troll, Bale of Summer, Witness. 
They have five mana total. I think Hydra's the scariest card. If they were to draw another Burning Tree or another mana. 4-4 four, four does nothing. Veil's irrelevant. And Witness is also irrelevant. So I think the Hydra. We just kill him next turn. Kind of a cool deck, but... I guess they have this thing to play, play stuff for free. That's true. That doesn't really matter, I guess. They, they can get Witness. Ah, shoot. That was, that was pretty bad. Because now they can put Witness in play for free, get back the Hydra. And then they have more Devotion for Hydra, too. I should have the Witness. That was a mistake. Um, I think it'll be okay. But that was that was definitely a mistake. I just didn't consider the uh, ramifications of the In Search of Growth. Oh, they're going to play Old, Old Growth Troll instead. Sure. I mean... Now they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That seems wrong. Just put the witness in play and get back Hydra and try and spike a spike something, you know? They got a hit here, you know. They draw exactly Karn. I'll go nuts if I drew Karn. I'll be so mad. All right. 3-0. 3-0. Kind of a cool deck. Does look very fragile, though. Like, really fragile. Like, explosive if it, it works, but a lot, a lot of moving parts there. Um, cool. It's kind of weird they're just, like, playing old growth troll as, like, a... I guess if you if you kill it, it's, like, a... It makes your land to, like, a mana ramp thing. I guess it's an aura, too, right? So it, it would count as a green, green, green aura in play for devotion. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, you know, like, it's also kind of cool, just like a big beater, so like, when things aren't going right, you can just play turn two old growth troll and kill them, that's cool too, you know? It's cool. It's a cool deck. Cool deck, 3-0, no, we like that. Things are going pretty well for us. The deck's working pretty much as intended. I mean, I still do wish we had some sort of uh, non-graveyard threat. Maybe Bitter Blossom's fine, honestly. I guess we don't really gain much life, though, so now the life loss from... Bitter Blossom and Thought Season lands might hurt us a little bit. Not sure. Not sure. On the play. This is actually all of our basic lands. That's all four basics. I mean, Village Rights is good. I'm just going to keep. Crawler on one. We have Village Rights. We need some help here, but Village Rights is pretty good at finding gas, so. It's only 16 lands in our deck. How many can we draw, you know? Forest. Amulet of Vigor. Probably another kind of not good matchup, honestly. Uh, the big mana decks just seem good against us. We just don't really interact enough with them because, like, they don't care about Mayhem Devil and stuff, and they don't try and kill our creatures. So, like, our Curse of Threats don't matter. Our end game is really matter. And we're kind of just, like, all in on, on, on our, our Thought Seizes. But Carry and Feeder. Right. I think we just jam. Um, we are not going to be playing Village Rights here. Just pedal to the metal. Maybe we should have uh, actually... Oh my god, we're set on turn two. All right, let's just F6 here. All right, I'm going to get the old guitar. I guess Amulet's not like that insanely slow, but... Never liked this deck. Just like... Eh. Have to imagine we're dead here. Like, or not dead, but like, they, they don't really kill you. They just like make an unbeatable board. I guess with Field Ban, that gets a lot worse. But that Field, like, they don't really have like a, a super inevitable endgame. Like, they get Titans and stuff, but like, they don't actually really kill you. But we can't really, like, I mean, do anything to overcome that. Like, when I used to play Tron, like, the Amulet player, like, it wouldn't kill you. They'd attack you for 16. But you would untap and car on their Titan, and like they can get another Titan, but like you get a worm coil in play, you gain some life. Like they wouldn't really like win the game, you know, without Field of the Dead. So I guess they have probably have like a Valakit now, too, because they're playing the 2 4, uh, the uh, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. 
The guitar is over there. Let me know what you think about the guitar. I know last um, last video I was like playing guitar while waiting for waiting for my opponent to uh, to combo off on us, trying to kill a little downtime. So let me know in the comments if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it increases your enjoyment. Um, obviously, there are some decks in modern and historic where you kind of don't get to do anything for a while. So. Be really cool if they miscounted here or something and they, they just died of their pact. Doesn't seem possible though. Yeah, they have more land drops, so. I'm gonna get the guitar. Gotta learn some songs again. Don't really know many songs. I haven't played guitar in so long. Put it up here so you can see it. I'd imagine we're dead here off double amulet. We're 21. Primeval Titan, why you gotta kill me? What did I ever do to you? So they get to Growth Chamber and Delaria West and bounce it, you know, the Titan. And they give them both haste, probably. Titan, Titan. I can concede. Let me know in the in the comments also if it's better if I just concede in a spot like this. Like you're probably not going to win, um, but we're like seeing what your opponent's deck does. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that as well. So in the comments, let me know if playing guitar is fun during kind of like dead spots like this. And then if in a spot where I'm like 90, you know, 95% to lose or higher, but we're seeing what our opponent's deck does, if it's better just to concede, go to the next game, or if y'all want to see what their deck does, or kind of like do the thing, you know? They're taking a pretty long time here, which is like pretty stinky, but you've never seen Amulet Titan turn to someone, and now's a chance, you know, at my expense, I suppose. Turn two again. How can you have so many titans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little butt rock. So they have uh, eight mana floating. They can just west again for another titan. And then. With two amulets, they can give two titans haste. We are at 21. And they do have two packs to pay for currently. 
Also, it's part of it just like they might just screw up and die, um, which is like, you know, a thing. There's going to be a third pack now, too. So. third summoner's pact sure i mean they have no red at present <laughs> well it's all like a story it's about a man or a woman or a magic player in general they played some titans on turn two Many, many titans, but they couldn't pay for the packs. <laughs> so, um, I guess that answers our question of if we should not concede or not, because that was freaking hilarious, and we won the game. So that's like the literal best case scenario. Um, <laughs> It did feel like they weren't going to, like, kill us, and they were going a little deep there, but we'll, we'll take that all day, every day. I hope that was, like, that's, like, I, I don't even have the words for that one. Someone said that went into, like, the top five plays of the week or whatever, because it's pretty, I didn't even do anything. It's hilarious. So, um, we're going to make a ball therapist, bring in our thought seeds, bring in our blood moon. Um, the problem is that, like, trying to cold against command or braid an amulet's, like, kind of tough. Probably want the a braids. Um... Brutality can hit the packs, but nothing else, which is pretty bad. We're going to want to take out our claims. I would say that our Witch's Oven package is honestly probably just bad against them. Like, Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven, like, which makes our Devils worse, but, like, Devils is not very good against them in general, honestly. And maybe want the Coligans Command, too. And we're just going to try and, like, be kind of like a bad aggro deck against them. We've got four Thought Seas, two Cabal Therapists, two Abrades, some Blood Moons. Just try and make it happen. That was a, a hilarious game. Um, I don't have chat open. I'm actually going to show my chat. I never look at chat. This opponent says, sometimes counting is hard in chat, you know? Going for the turn two kill flew a little too close to the sun. For those who don't know, I usually have chat closed at all times, but every once in a while I'll peek in and see what's going on in there. Um, so we got to keep this hand. Unfortunately, um, we have like a, a pretty anemic, like aggro curve, but we have a thought seed, which is more important. So we're, we're going to keep, I'm not really thrilled about the sand, but I think it's too hard to mulligan thought seeds and creatures. And then we can just like village rights our uh, our blood gas and stuff. So they have amulet again. That kind of sucks, but hopefully we'll have the thought seeds to take them off their stuff. Um, all right. So we draw and we draw a carrion feeder. It's actually pretty good. So now we can just go Grave Crawler on one, Thoughts he's carrying feeder on two. <laughs> also try and turn to us again. I mean, in that case, all bets are off. I'll grab the guitar and start playing some songs again. <laughs> That's just unbelievable. That's just so funny. Oh man. Boreal Grazer, sure. On tap, yep. So we need a Thought Seize this turn. We get to feed your Thought Seize. Another amulet. Oh my god. So they only have two cards in hand. Uh the problem is any bounce land will bounce their west, but I mean red and blue, so Oh man, Conjure's so good too. Alright. Um Yeah, I mean Graze is actually pretty good here. Our our uh, attack force is not exactly uh you know Super threatening. We don't really got Tarnal Ghost and Wild and the Kyles over here, but sure. We're going to Thought Seas. They're going to have Titan Land. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, Carrion Feeder Gun. Maybe I should, should have a uh, Village Rights there. 
try and draw a third land so we can go copter and something else. Uh, I definitely want a copter next turn, but if I don't draw a land, I'm not playing anything else, which is kind of tough. Eh, not sure. So they have a second castle Garen Brig. And they're just going to say go and not even play it, which is kind of interesting. Um, Cabal Therapist. Sure. I mean, like, we can't play Therapist over playing Copter, I don't think. And, like, I guess they just can't even play a Titan. It's, they need Bounce Lands and stuff, too, so... Let's play Copter. The problem with Therapist is it's really, really slow. You can't use it for turn you play it. Um, nor you can use it on turn one or two. You can't actually use it on turn one or two. That's how bad. That's how like awkward it is. So one drop, it's it has no use till turn three. So that's why we're only playing two. It's fine like a little later in the game. As we saw it was as we saw in that earlier match, but it is certainly not exciting. But Clearly, we're just trying to keep Titan in another hand, so it will somewhat do that. All right, so putting Castle. I guess I made Druid. Oh, this, 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 this makes sense. So they probably just drew a Titan, actually, because they can float the mana off one amulet and then use the other and use Castle to cast Titan. So if they just drew a Titan or a Pact, we're just like, I guess I, I'm not going to say we're going to lose. I don't know what's going to happen, actually. <laughs> we have no idea what's going to happen. Not a clue. I don't think our opponent knows what's going to happen, honestly. All right. I mean, it looks like they're doing it. So, obviously, you just, like, cast it. They could just cast Titan and say go. You know, like, they don't have to, like, try and kill us all in one shot. All right. It looks like they just they just spiked the Titan on us, which is pretty, uh, pretty disgusting, all things considered. But... This is where I'm supposed to say there's, there's no, no, just, no justice in the world, right? Not a one. Not a one. All right. I mean, they get some grow chambers. Sure. Let's get the old guitar again, I guess. There once was a magic player named Chapst, playing Amulet Titan, made into Amulet of Figures every turn, cause they were biting on my head. I'm really bad at freestyling, I, don't, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Um, coming from a land called Simic Growth Chamber. Uh, they have million mana again. They're doing the same thing again. If they if they just like miscount again and concede, I I I can't even. I don't know. I need to learn some like. Din -it -din 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 -din. <sighs> so they're gonna Tolaria West. They have a bunch of mana floating. They're gonna get Summoner's Pact again. They're gonna put another Titan in play. Um, we can't actually like remove a Titan from the battlefield once it's in play. Um, which is like, I guess problematic. I mean, they're at twenty one. And they can like replay um they're gonna explosives. Ugh. That's sub for two. Yeah, we're gonna lose this game. Alright. Uh yeah, so we missed the land drop and they have a Titan on turn four. And they have no packs to play for, so apparently this is uh this is a little better for them. Uh oh my god, so many village rights. Start there, I suppose. I don't see a way out here. We draw a copter carrying feeder. Alright, we're gonna go to the next game. We're not going to this game. Opponents learned from their mistakes and decided not to uh to kill themselves. So that's fine. Obviously kind of a tough game there, but pretty okay i mean once again we're boarding into like we have four thought seas but I mean, they just like drew a titan they had literally nothing and just drew titan too so like they could have just like not done that which would have been really cool they had the heads up play to not play the castle garenbrig so they would have the mana for titan if they drew it and they did draw it but you know a lot of times they're just like you know don't draw a titan and we're like okay but 
They also can't have double amulet every game. You know, just just saying. Like that's it's like probably not gonna happen. I mean, maybe it will, but on the play, game three. We are three and zero. Let's keep the streak going here. Let's keep the streak going. They're uh, in cyborg tank. We're uh, we're rocking no changes here. We have interaction. I mean, fourth off season. We have ways to kill you know amulets and stuff. Oh, come on, why would you do this to me? Give me everything I ever wanted and no lands. Oh, uh, two thoughts these Blood Moon. Like, that's like the dream. We just cannot keep us in. We have zero pressure at all. Like on the draw, maybe we can try and spike a second land for Earth Opter. We just can't keep us in, which is just awful. But, oh, and Mulligan into like a pretty mopey hand. Oh, man. All right. We got to keep. We can't Mulligan. We're going to shit the Blood Crypt. We can kill a uh an amulet, but this is a pretty pretty unenthusiastic hand. Definitely have no amulet this game. No way they have an amulet this game. Yeah, obviously not. Alright. Uh sure. Carrion feeder number two. So, yeah, I'm just going to play carry if you never do, I guess. We're going to need, like, you know, Blood Gask or Grave Crawler or some sort of other thing to go with this. We're definitely a synergy deck. You know, we need to have our pieces kind of come together. Uh, unfortunately, boarding in, like, answer store opponent stuff means we have less pieces to come together because we have less pieces, but... And a Boreal Grazer. Oh, my God. It's the defense force here. All right. Um, putting in a Valakit? Sure. So they have the Valakit secondary engine. Do they have no lands here? What? No way. Castle Garenberg, sure. So they just, like, cast a 6-6. Six, six. We're going to lose, unfortunately. Um, oh, never mind. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. And they have... Uh, that's probably going to do it, honestly. I mean, we have to, like, kill them, but that is really good. That is really good. They have, like, probably a few forests in their deck. I can see wanting a third Blood Moon, maybe, honestly. Because, like, these matchups seem kind of bad. Like, Tron, this deck, Malakit, all seem pretty bad. It's the big mana decks in general. Fancy. Uh, nice cyborg tech. That's, like, old school tech, I think. Coalition Relic. Um, good news is we have a Braid. So, we, rock it. We, we, we would lose this card straight up. They would just cast Titan off of it. Like one card that can cast Titan through Blood Moon and it's still fine otherwise. It's a pretty cool card. That's a really, that's a really, really cool boost tech. I like that a lot. I think that's old tech, but heh, sure. Uh, looks like we got it all though. Looks like we got it all this game. Except, except for a clock. Uh, we have these two 1 1 carrion feeders that are being stonewalled by this Boreal Razor, but all right. Fire and Thoughtseize. Their hand is. Azusa, Dryad, Titan. Now, if they were to play a Dryad off of the uh, the Relic, all their lands would be all the lands. So we're going to take this. And we're going to abrade this Relic. And they got no castables. Titan, Azusa, Rot Farm. Looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. Play farm, sure. Pretty cool they get to like play their bounce lands without bouncing a land. So if the Blood Moon does die, they have a lot of mana in play. But all right, untap and draw a Grave Crawler. So that's kind of cool. I mean, like, yeah, we're still going to play, play, play Devil, I think. 
Next turn's like crawler, sack it, crawler, sack it, so we can kill some stuff. Now, now we actually have a clock in play, which is good. So we can probably close this game out in like maybe three or four turns. Sure. So we could sack a carrion feeder here and kill this Royal Grazer. Then we wouldn't kill the plant. We can kill that next turn though. We're gonna do that. They can also play explosives on one if they have the to pay draw explosives. So let's sack this. Deal one to the grazer. And so there you go. Next turn we can play, we can play crawler, sacrifice it, kill the plant. And we're gonna attack for six, which is pretty good. So battlements, sure. They could have Wait, never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking of the of the flip cards. This is this is not battlements on one side, garrison on the other. This is not Zendikar Rising. This is a totally different magic card. It's like, why didn't they cast the garrison? That would have been great. Uh sure. Castle lock there. Not a swamp, but. So we're gonna like hold the land in our hand in case we draw a blood guest. And now they're on a pretty fast clock. This is an attack for six. Next turn is an attack for eight. And we can like sack this a few times too. So eight, nine, ten. We're one short. Oh, they drew a forest. What a sicko. Um, but they have only Azusa and no way to play uh, Titan. So, you know, if they have Titan, they're just dead. So, because like a 6-6 six, six doesn't matter anymore. So, they just Titan card. A Pajamba Jukabog. That's pretty funny. Uh, okay. So, we can just kill Azusa and just kill them, I guess. Draw Grave Crawler. That's actually perfect. Honestly. So, I can just play it from our hand, and, and this, this one still attacks. Kill this. Play Grief Crawler. I love Carrion Feeder. It's like a really cool. It's very simple. It's not overpowered. Carrion Feeder is my kind of magic. Um, just like a fun synergy card. It makes other cards better. Its power on top of is blue for some reason, so you can't read it at all. Um, it's very. F oh my god, I misclicked. I didn't type with this thing. Oh, it's so bad. Um. Are they dead? This is a... Uh, I can't read it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're dead. All right. Yeah, so... Cool. Four and oh. Four and oh with the big steal of Blood Moon. Are you going to get a trophy here? Are you going to get a trophy with the little, uh, little sacrifice brew here? This is pretty exciting. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Let's go. All right, folks, as I said, find your article this video on coolstuffinc.com. Make sure you like and subscribe to the, uh, the Cool Stuff channel, of course. And, of course, do some shopping. Spend some money. Your, your stimmy check came in. Go to Cool Stuff. Go buy some cool Time Spiral old border cards. Go buy some sealed product. Go buy some, some board games. You know, we're getting our vaccines now. We can hang out with our friends again. So buy some board games, you know, get ready for your for game nights and stuff. And uh, get that stimmy check going. Promo code Jim 5 5% off your order, coolstuffinc.com. And again, you get a free goblin token with every order with my lovely mug on it and Nicole's face, my wife, and John, my, my stepson, and Burnsy, our late Burnsy, my uh, my old stream mascot. Miss you, buddy. Good old Burnsy. Going for 5 0. Going for 5 0. Finding opponent. So far, we have not really used Greater Gargadon. Um, it does seem like it would be good in like slower grinding matchups like Jund or something like that. It's pretty hard to kill. You can't fatal push it. It's huge. Um, but mostly we've been playing like linear matchups. Two big mana decks. She's like, she like a bad matchup for us. Um, so no real grind so far. Round five. Winning die rolls. Drawing good hands. Let's keep. I just love Smuggler's Copter too. It's somebody, it's so funny how like cards go from being hated to loved. You know, like when a card is like oppressively good, like Siege Rhino. When that card wasn't standard, everyone hated Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino again, Siege Rhino this, Siege Rhino that. But once the card falls out of standard or out of like the format where it's really, really good in, and uh it becomes like this nostalgia thing, like you play a Siege Rhino Modern and like your opponent's like, cool, man. That's cool. You know, like 
funny. A copter is the same way. So we had a grave crawler. It's pretty good. A little extra value there. Obviously, discarding a blood gas this would be cool too. Verdant Cat. Are we gonna get a grindy matchup here? A little grindy deck, maybe. What do you got for me? An Inquisition of Kozilek. I mean, fortunately, that makes our hand worse as we're a little uh, heavy on our, our Smuggler's Copter here, but. If they have a push, I mean, they might not take it, but they'll take it, sure. So I think we're going to just supply her now and try and hit a Blood Guest and just play Grave Crawler. Really prefer not to cast Blood Guest, so just play Supplier. See if we can spike a Blood Guest. We uh, hit another Grave Crawler. It's fine. We'll keep Delta for. Uh, more triggers on landfall. Play crawler. Just say go. See what kind of if they're a shadow deck, I guess attacking is tough, but they're not playing Luris. Usually shadow decks are playing Luris, so this might just be like old school Jund. Need a Ren Six me? I do hate Ren and Six. My article, um, you know, on Friday, I was talking about Modern Horizons 1 and how I think that it's actually a really great set, except for the best five cards in the set. If you remove, like, Hogak, Ren and Six, Arkham's Astrolabe, um, let's see the dumb one. I'm missing one, but remove it, like, the, remove the best five cards from, from Modern Horizons. It's, like, a phenomenal set. It added so much fun stuff to Modern. Um, but those top five cards, a Plague Engineer, that's another one of them. You know, like, just, like, egregious egregious designs all right so they might have been like thinking about Ren and six and decided not to um just jam i guess i mean like again, i doubt they're playing shadow if they're playing basic mountain and not playing Lurus. so if they were playing shadow we would not want to be attacking them from 16 to 12 but we think they are so all right play i guess we're just gonna cast blood guest i mean i'm not, like stoked about it but we're going pretty wide here, so we'll just kill you, I guess. I mean, we can use Clan the Firstborn offensively, just like take your Tarmogoyf and beat you with it. Lightning Bolt the Blood Gas, sure. You love, you, that's, that's something you love to see. Two things I love to see. My opponent Lightning Bolting a Goblin Token, and my opponent Lightning Bolting my Blood Guest. Get a basic, sure. All right. Destructive Flow. Any boomers out there? Maelstrom Pulse, the Grave Crawlers. I mean, I got news for you, my friend. They're coming back. They're coming back. Thoughts ease? Sure. Thoughts ease you. Take Blood Braid Elf. They have Liliana, Tarmogoyf, Thoughts ease. Hilarious. So Blood Braid Elf is definitely the best card here. Um, Goyf we just, like, kill them with, and Liliana is, like, whatever. By the way, actually, like, want to draw land. Can't be cast Liliana too. So if they were to draw land and play uh land and play uh Blood Braid there, they could possibly like crawl back in the game. Like Blood Braid into uh into a uh scavenging ooze, something like that, make a block or two, and then like untap, draw a green. So definitely not like our plan A here, just being like a attack you deck, but Ren and Six. That's a pretty good draw. Probably won't matter, but we draw land here, and we we uh, I guess we don't kill them. Maybe we kill them. We draw land. <laughs> Cauldron familiar. Uh, that also kills them. So play this. And give it haste. Play cauldron familiar. Attack you for exactly six. Scrappy. Don't laugh. It works. <laughs> All right. So uh, just like classic Jund. Um, they're going to have Graveyard 8. Claims. I kind of like Spellbomb. It's good against, uh, Ren and Six. Ren and Six is really good against us, unfortunately. Um, we need to decide what we're doing with these Thought Seas. We actually, we actually like, want Thought Seas. Pretty pumped about Gargadon in this matchup. Um, can, like, shave. A, I'm a little scared of, a. Of uh, what's it called? Scavenging use. 
Thoughts Thieves like will hit their big cards, but like getting to a Thoughts Thieves war with a Jun deck isn't it doesn't really feel like a good idea. I'd rather just draw gas, you know. But like hitting Ren and Six is also pretty good. Like Ren and Six is like the big card. I guess if they have like a Plague Engineer, that would also be a problem. That card is actually pretty good against us. I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these and cut a grave crawler and bring in two spell bombs. Colgan's command's like a hedge, it's like a reasonable grindy card that also kills Plague Engineer. We actually just claim Plague Engineer, but Engineer on Zombie is pretty good. But I think it's just fine. We're gonna try this. Try it with no thought seizes. Alright. Um pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. Fun moments. We have we gotta keep this. It's a little awkward, but um we can uh we're gonna oven off swamp. Actually having castle is really good. I didn't really see the castle. It's actually really good. We have some threats, a recursive element, and then a castle. Our one castle. Castle's so good. So, and all, our hand's also, like, not very discardable. Man, this is a Boomer Jun deck. Raging Ravine. I love how, how a modern just, like, reverted, like, five years ago. Ooh, Carrion Feeder. I think I want to oven first. I just want to gain value. I play Feeder, just dies to Ren and Six. Um, I'll just play Oven. You're ready to play, you're ready to play Copter. Getting in a single copter and discarding blood gas would be a pretty big game, so. Croxa. Yeah, sure. That card's terrible against us. Discard blood gas. My pleasure. Be my it would be my absolute pleasure. Claim's great. Alright, so it's a uh, castle. And Copter. We can, like, get some sacks out of this blood gas, too, with the, uh, we can, like, sack it, play a land, get it back, block it, sack it, so on and so forth. All right. Uh, looks like Coligan's Command, if I had to guess. Uh, shocking and saying go here. So we're probably, like, not even interested in, uh, firing up the Copter. I'm just going to attack with the, uh, blood guest. Another Copter. Okay. Um... We still lose attack. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crew. All right, and then we're going to sack the blood gas to oven. Make a food. Play delta. Get it back. I said always yes, every time. Never been questioned. And then we're gonna play. Actually, I probably should have used the put off carry and feeder. Yeah, play carry and feeder. I guess like this is actually bad. Because now they're just gonna kill the carry and feeder and the smuggler's crafted with the Coligans command. Yeah, that's yeah, bad. Stack blood guest. Actually, no, because then I can, I can, I can actually crew the copter, sack the copter, fetch the land, get back blood guest, sack the blood guest. Cool deck. What a cool little little thing he's going on. I like it. I like it. They have four cards in hand. Yeah, so they're they're figuring out the Coligan's command right now. So if they go to shock the carrion feeder and shatter the smuggler's copter, in response, I crew copter, sack it to feeder, crest sack delta, get back blood guest. You'll here. I'll, I'll I'll just do it for you. All right. So, they're going to deal two. They're actually going to kill the oven. So, that's a pretty heads-up play. So, that plays around my play. Um, now, I could sack the copter. And I think I'm going to, because I have another copter anyway. And I want to keep my carrying feeder. Sure. So, we're going to crack this. Get blood groups. Get blood guest. Yes. We're going to crew a smuggler's copter. We're 
We're going to sack Smuggler's Copter. It's post combat already. We're going to sack Blood Guest. We'll lose our oven, which is fine. Now we're going to have a 4-4 Carrion Feeder. Play another Copter. We still have our Sack Outlet for our Clan the Firstborn, which I don't know about. We still have a Copter, and we have a 4-4. If they Liliana us here, um, we'll decide what to do. We'll probably sack the copter, not the feeder. I want to keep his feeder alive, I think. But I'm not sure yet. I have not decided. Nothing. Sure. Untap. Draw land. Supplier. Interesting. So we could just Mayhem Devil here and fire up the copter. I imagine we're getting Coligan's commanded again, so I don't know what the hell else they'd be doing here. Was it like abrupt decay or something? Otherwise, we're supply we're just like wasting mana. So yeah, let's we'll play devil. I don't know why this is why it's blue text. It's like impossible to read. Fatal push my carrion feeder. All right, so that's annoying, but sure. Oops. Crew. And they probably have an answer to the, the copter too, but it's also our sack outlet. It's kind of kind of not ideal, but sure. So I mean this is fine. They have two cards left, and we have a Man Devil in play, and a Blood Guest in our graveyard, and a Castle, and two spells in our hand, so let's have a third Bolt here. If they go, like, Bolt this, untap, play land, play Croxa, I guess that's a problem. We have Clan of Firstborn in our hand. Which I guess it's not really that, not that, that good, but... It's Harmogwaif, sure. So we draw a blood guest. It's not ideal. So now we're gonna supplier. We're gonna mill over an oven and two lands. Not very good. And we're gonna leave blood guest in our hands. If we go land croc so we can discard blood guest and claim the firstborn. So I'm just gonna say go. Um I don't think we're blocking Tarmoglyph with the supplier. Can we just like really want to draw a sack outlet here? Also, not, not gonna sack the food either. Gross. All right. All right. Well, we drew a land. We drew a land. We have castle. We have castle and food. They're at fifteen. Tough. I have a tough spot. Maybe I should just like the food last turn. Maybe I should just like the food last turn. All right. So, yeah, we're gonna just hold blood gas for Croxa. They have one card in hand. This is pretty uh pretty suspect. Bring that back and just say go. We draw a sack outlet. That's the problem. Um, we have a lot of them. You know, we we boarded out none of them. We have all like eleven or twelve or thirteen sack sack outlets. So we're drawing to like four village rights, three ovens. All right, they have the Croxa, sure. Let's see if they got a duel or not here. All right, they don't. We can just like spike another blood gas. We can just kill him with the Croxa. They're gonna blood braid elf instead. That's so good. They had a red and six. Oh my god. All right. Well, I think this game is uh has turned for the worse. Yeah, it's bad. All right. We mill a grave crawler, carrying feeder, land. Sure. Pretty aggro. Gain three. 
or 14. I don't think we have any outs. Mayhem Devil? I mean, it's good, but it's not good enough. Yeah, it's not good enough. All right, game three. That's fair. Pretty good hand on their part. Just like a lot of removal spells and two Tarmo Glyphs and like, you know, three lands all spells. Um, I don't think we want Blood Moon. It's an enchantment for Tarmogoyf, like they just thought seize it. Like it's not like they seem to be like getting basics reasonably aggressively. Unless they were in game one. Um I guess that's the question if they want thought seize or not. That's just a big question. Like, I think our primary game plan works pretty well against them. So like if we just get it going, we'll be fine. We kind of were a little short that game. Um mostly because they killed the oven. If they killed the oven, probably would have been fine that game. Um and like trading resources without establishing our engines is like seems to be playing into their hands how does that on the play this is it all the marbles going for the trophy or four no on the mulligan oh my god come on All right, it's going to be all the more glorious, I guess. Bin Oven? Oh, man. <sighs> they just, like, kill my one creature. Oh, this, this is going to be uh, quite the uphill battle. They kept seven, too. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I'm only to five against in a fair matchup like this is just so devastatingly bad for us. All right. Like they want to trade one for one the whole game. And we just like are down three cards. Yeah, this is just, just going to be a, a massacre, unfortunately. All right, that's a start. We can get a, we can spike a sick hit here. Honestly, maybe that'll do it. First ball up, nothing. And we can sacrifice it to the carrion feeder, and we're trying to hit four blood guest, three grave crawler, or we can just play a land and sacrifice bilge rights. So we're gonna go for it. We got a hit here. Gravecrawler, Village Rights. That's not the worst. Uh, all right. We have somewhat of a game. Um, they have to really stumble here, but we have something resembling a game magic. There's no more discard spells. If we can, like, sack the Gravecrawler to Village Rights, replay it, and got like, uh, they can't play anything here, basically. <laughs> uh, no removal spell, no discard spell, no threat. Can't play Ren it's like a Goyf. I could deal with a Goyf. All right. Now we draw. Claim the Firstborn. Off the top. Come on now. For the trophy. Let's go. No. Okay. Um, we're going to Village Rights. The Grave Curler. I mean, it's not bad. It's not that bad. Play Grave Crawler. Castle, too? We're like somewhat in this game. It's still five cards in their hand, but. All right, let's see. Go. There's a huge Tarmoglyph. We've given them Artifact, Land, Instant, and they have Sorcery. Creature. Okay. If I play Engineer on Zombies, don't you dare do it. Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, I guess that's not like the end of the world, but it's a pretty sick card against us. Draw two. Alright. Sack Carrying Feeder, I guess. Just gotta keep playing ball here, you know? 
have four cards left now. And where were you last turn? Oh, you did so good last turn. Oh, man. We turn one this Gargadon, this game. Then maybe we're like talking, you know? All right, so a Naked Mayhem Devil. Maybe even better to play Blood Guess, Sack it, play Blood Guess again. That might have been better, actually. It's just like a terrible Naked Devil. It's going to die to a Bolt or something like that. We can't Grave Crawler either, though, so they're going to play Baron more. That means they have all spells in their hand. That's probably bad. <laughs> sure. I know, I can't do that. Um. Can't F6, we have a great regard on play. Force our castle is just like blank because they, they just put this 5 6 on turn 2. Alright. Could you like a zombie and a land next turn? Is that possible? Oh my god. Alright. Alright, sure. You win, opponent. That's fine. Honestly, they, now they have artifact, sorcery, land. It's gonna be a three four. I could sack like all my lands and like kill the the Tarmogoyf. Just hope they have nothing. Uh, if I shoot it for one, I, need, I would need to sacrifice three lands. I'd have a Gargadon on six and a Mayhem Devil and one land to play with literally nothing. We have literally nothing basically anyway, so let's just freaking do it. Loading a black. So what do they have? Push too. Oh, duh, the feather spell bomb. There's only a benefit to have cards in our graveyard, so. So they have artifact. Yeah, they have three, four. <laughs> I mean, like. If we, if we win this game, folks, I. I, uh, I don't got the words. I don't have to tell you. If we win this game, this is going to be amazing. All right. Gargadon's now hiding under all the, the Exiles cards because it's how Magic Online works. Gargadon goes to five. It's off screen. I can't see it. Wait, are you kidding me? I can't see it. There it is. Six. Six. It's really annoying. Uh, claim. That's actually an insane draw. Uh, like, by far the best possible draw on the deck. If they go like Tarmogoyf go, we're like gonna win this game, which is so like improbable. But okay, hit Tarmogoyf. We're at six. We can like sack a land to kill a Bloodbraid Elf. Oh my god. We kill them? Are we gonna win? If we draw a land, then we win. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. No freaking way. Oh my god. No. I mean, we're gonna kill the elf. So we attack. Um, sack the Tarmogoyf. Deal one. You guys like the land. 
Oh, wait, that's screw up. Oh my god, it's punted. Oh my god, I could have just killed them. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. The sadness I feel is profound. It is all encompassing. It is, it is deep, welling in my soul, and it's the pain that will never go away. I just like forgot we could sack the devil too. Oh my god. We would have won the game with zero permanence in play from an unwinnable spot. I cannot believe this is happening. I need the I need the time stone. I need to rewind things. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I am heartbroken right now. I am a shattered shell of a man. I feel pain in places I didn't even know I had. It's okay. I'm glad Gargodon was good, though. I mean, so now we have to sacrifice our land and kill the Bloodbraid Elf to not die and just hope we can, like, win the game next turn. I cannot believe we just did that. Oh, my God. I just didn't think about sacrificing the Devil itself. I thought we were one short. Wow. All right. I mean, if they have nothing, we can still win. But, like, if we just draw, I don't even know. Oh, my God. I cannot believe we just did that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm the worst Magic player to ever live. Oh, my God. The pain is unbelievable. This is going to be my last video for CoolStuffInc.com, folks. I'm getting fired up for this. We're dead to, like, literally anything. Heh. I mean, all right. Hopefully their hands are all, like, Fatal pushes and stuff. I cannot believe we did that. Oh no. Creator Gargadon, come save me. You're on two now. I'm so sad. <laughs> Whatever. I cannot believe we just did that. I am so... We would have won the unwinnable game. All right. All right, everyone take a moment and wallow in unfathomable sadness with me. All right, take a second. Okay, now that that's gone, we still went four. We effectively went 5 up. Like, we, we punted the last match. Realistically, we got very, very lucky to have a chance there. So we can call it a 4-1. You know, even though we, we like would have won that game, I think it like we got really, really lucky anyway. That's pretty cool. I, I I still feel sadness. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. It passed. Um, this deck is super sweet. This deck, can, this deck can ball. You know, and like the thing is that like we played against two bad matchups in like the big mana decks and we didn't play against like any good matchups. Like I think like any creature deck, um, any deck relying on Noble Hierarch or humans or goblins or whatever should probably be really good for us because Mayhem Devil will just go bananas. That's a really good showing for uh, for a league for uh, an, an, you know, a new kind of like non metagame deck. I'm pretty impressed. I'm really happy that Gargadon is really good there. Gargadon is really good mayhem devil. Being able to sacrifice your lands and do stuff is pretty insane. So all in all, I'm pumped. I am again profoundly sad about that last game that we 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 didn't win that game for y'all. I, I I oh my god, it would have been so good. But um. But yeah, definitely a really, really cool deck. I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, again, I played it once on stream in my Freshly Brewed series where I brew up new decks, and uh, it did pretty well. I think we had 3-2 in that one. And to see it here, I made some slight changes, and now I go to go almost 5-0, essentially 5-0 in a, a league. It's pretty awesome. So really, really cool deck. Um, I love decks like this. I love Synergy, and if you do too, give it a spin. Let me know how it goes, all right? I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Davis for CoolStuffInc.com. Check out the companion article. Check CoolStuffInc.com. I'll see you next week, and I'll try not to throw the last match. <laughs> the last game on the last turn. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, folks. <laughs> Is this thing still on? <laughs>